space room right now guys and uh, this is going to be a very important uh, video that I've wanted to make now for the past several weeks I haven't been able to I haven't been able to find the right time for it I haven't been able to get the uh, privacy that I've felt that I've needed to be able to make it but uh, I'm at a point now guys where I don't really care anymore who overhears uh, what I'm about to say here because well I don't owe anybody any explanations or any apologies or anything for this particular matter. Uh, it's something that's always been very personal, very private, uh, concerning us. Uh, and, uh, you know, no one else really needed to know as such anyway. But so, um, uh, today is the uh, 1st of January now, guys. Uh, 1st of the new year. It's uh, just turned uh, 7.30 in the evening, if my housemate's clock up there is correct. And the, uh, <clears throat> the video I'm about to make right now, guys, is just... Uh, basically, I'm calling it a, a, a memorial video, a memory video, or whatever the case might be. Uh, now, I hope I got the date right here now, and such. Uh, about, a uh, about a month and a half ago, guys, uh, my housemate... Uh, passed away uh, December the uh, 20th and so uh, he passed away in this room and on this bed right here uh, from what I've been able to uh, gather uh, afterwards sometime afterwards uh, it was all through perfectly natural causes because he'd uh, been really really sick for quite some time and uh, well for years really actually but certainly for most of the time he's been over here and uh, I mean complications, different uh, conditions, sicknesses, as long as my arm sort of thing. And uh, so he was not doing the things that he was needing to do to um, kind of improve his situation. He basically had lost his willingness to want to fight and carry on anyway. So his uh, condition was just gradually deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating over time. So I mean... Um, we knew, or I knew certainly for sure, for a very long time that uh, uh, eventually something was going to happen to him. Uh, and I mean, I've been the past several years thinking any day I was, I was going to wake up, uh, I was going to wake up, you know, to a dead body in the house, basically, you know. And uh, so in a way, there, uh, um, on December the 20th, and I'm sorry, November the 20th, there, guys, uh, that was the very thing that happened. And uh, so uh, I've been carrying on now the past um, a month and a half or so since he's passed away, the best that uh, I'm able to, trying to keep things going here uh, as best as I'm able to. Uh, it's been an insane time, guys. It's been an insane time. The level of stress and aggravation and torment and uncertainty has just been basically off the charts. And uh, nothing is going to change, nothing is going to improve as I begin the uh, new year here. So, um, but uh, the thing is, uh, all that being said, um, I knew this guy for over 30 years, guys. <coughs> um, I met him when I first came to St. John's. I met him downtown in the club scene. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm sorry to be doing this while I make this kind of video, but I got to keep an eye on the time. I hope it's not going to be too warm here in the room for this freaking thing to go all haywire on me. This is a fairly important video to make here. Uh, and uh, so, uh, he um, he liked me. I mean, it's like he, sh he showed an interest in me. I mean, first, when he, first time he saw me, first time he laid eyes on me. And uh, for more than just friendship and all the rest of it. But uh, the interest was never there uh, on my part uh, to, uh, you know, be involved with him that way sort of thing. And uh, eventually, once he realized that nothing was going to go anywhere between us sort of thing, you know, he was still quite content for us to stay friends and sort of like to uh, <clears throat> leave it at that sort of thing. And so it's sort of like uh, continued on, continued on over the years. And uh, so the thing is, guys, I mean, even um, as far as friendship goes, uh, the two of us were as different as night and day. And as we've aged over the years, 
I think we've grown more and more apart than we grew together. Uh, he just, uh, his interests just went in directions that I had no interest in whatsoever and vice versa on uh, my side of things. So, uh, and we had talked about time and time and time again over the years, you know, trying to get a place together and just, you know, sharing our expenses and all that sort of stuff. And I never thought I could live with him because we're just, it's our parents night and day. But when I moved in here, guys, and with my father, uh, just over eight years ago, eight years, two or three months now, whatever it is, um, I knew that at some point uh, I was going to have to have somebody else move in with me, and I had nobody to pick, like no other person to pick at the time, other than my um, my housemate, my friend, or whatever, eventually became my housemate. And so uh, I was talking to him about it at the time and uh, for the first six months I was here and he agreed to it and like I said, uh, he moved in and uh, so, because I mean, the way I was looking at it guys was that uh, if we were ever going to do it, now was the time to do it and um, you know, uh, everything had been already set up here. I mean, the, the damage to Boston, and everything had been paid here. This is what I hope freaking owners here can get through your thick skulls that this was all taken care of uh, before he moved in. And so basically all he had to do was just uh, bring his belongings and uh, move in here. I have this room that he eventually got for the past uh, six years or so, six, uh, uh, seven years or so. And um, take care of his after rent and expenses and so on, the other expenses. And that was basically it. And for the time that he's been here, that was basically it too, because I've taken care of every other single solitary thing here, you know. Uh, he stayed in his own little world, doing his own little thing sort of thing. We were able to keep a roof over our head now for the past uh, eight years. Uh, but beyond that, guys, I mean, I have taken care of every single solitary thing connected with this place since then. Now, right now, what I'm going through right now, guys, and what I've been subjected to and all the rest of it, I don't have an inkling of a feeling that there's been any appreciation for that. I've kept the place clean and tidy. I've uh, I've bought every freaking darn thing for the place that uh, whatever I didn't bring with me when I when I came from other place, bought uh, afterwards. So um, you know I made this place what it is so far. I try my damnedest to make it a home for the two of us, and. Uh, I mean, because I want a home myself, I've always wanted, who doesn't want a home, guys? But I thought that maybe providing it for him as well would encourage him to uh, get more motivated to straighten himself out and get on top of his health problems and all the rest of it. But um, I guess nothing was going to work, guys. I mean, he was uh, bound and determined to stay in his own lifestyle, or just keep the way he was, and nothing under heaven was going to change it sort of thing. So... Uh, so that's the situation and that's how things uh, developed over over time and uh, so we punched out uh, i've punched out over eight years there now um this coming march uh, april march this coming march would have been uh, i think seven years for him by uh, seven and a half years for him or seven years seven and a half years seven years guys got him that's how i can my, my, my time so. and um but now, it looks like it's all coming to an end now, the whole, the whole darn works. I'm not going to be able to stay here any longer myself. I'm being kicked out of the place very viciously, very coldly, very cruelly, because I don't know what's going to happen now in uh, another couple months. But I don't think anybody cares. I don't think anybody cares about me whatsoever. I've never gotten any indication that anybody in this house has said an ounce of regard for me. I just got to accept that as my, my fact of life and in this place, I suppose. And uh, so now the house itself is going to be ripped away from me uh, shortly, guys. So uh, I just want to make a record of all this there now. I want to make a record of this room uh, as it is. Now, it's not ideally the way it was when he was here, guys, because, of course, uh, he had his wheelchair here. He had his walker here. He had to just block with stuff and all the rest. It wasn't anywhere near as nice and as clean and as tidy as it is there right now. But uh, starting this week now, guys, <coughs> I'm going to need this room for storage. Desperately going to need this room for storage. So... I'm going to have to, now his clothes, I still got his clothes in the closet there. I'm going to have to get all that out and get rid of it, uh, like completely. This bed has got to go. Uh, no one can use this bed now, or they shouldn't use this bed anyway, so that's got to go. And uh, I just got to get on top of things, you know, to organize my move uh, now, shortly. So this is the only place now that I can store uh, boxes and containers and so on that, you know, they have things organized and so on that. So that's what I'm going to start to have to use this room for now, throughout this month. 
So, uh, so yes, that's how this is about right now, guys. Just make a, a simple little record of uh, his last abode for the last, um, uh, you know, seven years or so of his life. And uh, like I said, it uh, came to, from what I understand, a fairly pleasant end there a uh, month and a half ago. Like I said, uh, November 20th there. What they've told me was that he just uh, passed away very peacefully uh, in his sleep there on, on this bed and uh, fell asleep and uh, whatever happened, I guess his heart gave out or whatever and that was it. Like there was no struggle, there was no pain, there was no discomfort, no nothing, you know. And I was busy trying to get the decorations on and going and everything, guys. I didn't want to have to be, uh, you know, because like, every day was just kind of like uh, struggling and worrying about his conditions and so on that. And I wanted to have, desperately have a, a nice Christmas and so on that, nice New Year's and well, well, everything's played out the way it's played out up to this point, I suppose. And uh, probably kind of a mixed blessing because uh, when we got the when I got the word that uh, we were expected to move out of here um, at the end of February, I thought, well, if he was here, it would just make things all that much more difficult for me, you know, because I'd have to be trying to putter around him and, and all the rest of it. So now I have the place to myself. I can pack things up sensibly. I can organize things sensibly. And... Uh, so, uh, you know, and uh, to be honest with you guys, uh, he, like I said, he, he, he wanted to go. He, he had given up uh, living. He, he wanted to go. Uh, all of his close friends were gone. His, his partner was gone. His uh, parents were gone. He was missing all these people terribly. Uh, people that were uh, important people in his younger life and all the rest of it. And he just wanted to basically go and uh, be with these people. And so, um, I guess, hopefully, I don't know what happens after we pass from this life, but uh, hopefully he got his wish there, guys. So, uh, I haven't even had a huge amount of time to think about this uh, since this happened, because, like, I've been just so wrapped up with everything with the house and what I'm going through and all the rest of it, but... Uh, I feel that I really had to do this uh, before we got too far in, in, in the game here and before I had to take everything apart in here and so on that make just a little memorial bit, a video uh, to him sort of thing so so this is it now again one last look at the room I'm going to have to clue up right now guys uh, he loved this poster guys I love this poster as well and so um, I got a nice frame for it to put the poster in and put it above his bed and so on that so and uh, yeah so i mean i'm hoping i don't lose these things guys you know they they they, they it all means the world to me it's just junk to the owners that they're, they're not going to have any value on it but it all means the world to me and i hope to good god i don't uh, don't lose it you know so wayne boy that's it wishing you all the best my friend and wherever you're gone to hopefully you're getting you've gotten your rest and your peace now i have to go i have to clue this up you take care hope you're hopefully you're watching out for me in some way shape or form you and my father Hi, right. God bless. Over for now. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Love you.